So unlike Metcal, Compass segregates instrument support and test criteria. So once your devices are set up, you can create any number of tests that work with each one of those devices. And now I'm ready to run a test. So again, there's a toolbar shortcut. It's the play option, or I can use the run, run test menu choice. First step is to pick my DUTs. So I have my Fluke 700 module. So Compass does support batch calibration. So this instrument is actually set up as a profile. So if I double click it again, I can enter in as many instruments that I physically have set up. And so if I have 10 pressure modules and 10 calibration adapters, I can type in 10. And now I have 10 instruments set up and I could complete my test that way. So here's the pressure module. Note this is the MetTrack asset number. So this was extracted from MetTrack. Within the tools options menu in Compass, there's literally a MetTrack tab that allows you to enable or disable MetTrack access while the test is running. That option is obviously on. So Compass read the MetTrack database and loaded the specific asset number for this instrument. The pressure range, in my example, is 7 megapascal. Here's the test definition that I used earlier. So it's a little overkill, but I am going to use a piston gauge to calibrate the pressure module. So now I have to load my piston gauge settings. So this is the piston cylinder I'm going to use. Notice as, as I change my piston cylinder selection, I get my nominal range. So it helps simplify the verification of the proper piston cylinder. This is the head correction, so that defines the change in height between the reference level of the piston gauge and my device under test. And now I can choose finish, and this will actually go into the runtime of the test. I can access other instrument run screens. So for example, if I want to see the specific run screen for the pressure module, I can select it here. The piston gauge run screen or any other run screen for that matter, if I click a value, I have a pop-up menu. There's an interface by so I can see the remote commands. I can click a value and add it to a strip chart. I can also manually control portions of the piston gauge. So this test will proceed. When the test is over, all of my data will be stored in this data file. It'll also be written to MetTrack for asset management purposes, and I'm also going to demonstrate how to generate a report in Compass as well as in MetTrack. After initialization is complete, the test begins. I have a, a run screen for all instruments, as well as a data table and a plot that I can use to view the access and, and the, the current state of the test. I can use the shortcut toolbars to access specific instrument run screens. I can click on just about any value and get a pop-up menu of options. So I can change units of measure, resolution. I can also display values on a strip chart. I can customize screens to lay all information out so that it fits in a way that's consistent with my setup. And that screen setup is persisted between runs of Compass. So at this point, everything is fully automated. I can walk away and come back when the test is complete. When the test is complete, a post-test dialog displays, gives you the opportunity to write data directly to MetTrack or generate a report in Compass. So what I've already done is I've generated a report in Compass using the data. So here's the report. So the report is generated by using a data file and a report template. So the template is defi defines all the specific fields, their location, their color, their size, etc. And the data files merge with that template to give you the final report. At the bottom of the report, I get a graphical indication of the results of the test. So this bar here is my tolerance, so I can see that my, my data, my error, was clearly within tolerance at the time of calibration. So in addition to using the Compass Report Editor, I can also use MetTrack. So my option in Compass was to automatically export data into MetTrack. So all data collected for that calibration is now available to me here. So any reports that are already set up in MetTrack and all the traceability information is now contained in MetTrack so I can use this for my final report and certification to end users.
So there you have it. Comes for pressure, universal pressure calibration software package. It works with both fluke and non-fluke instruments. You can completely automate a piston gauge, either a fluke piston gauge or a non-fluke piston gauge. You can easily save 50% or more on calibrations if you can fully automate an instrument with GPIB, RSU32, TCPIP. If you can read it, we can automatically calibrate it. Most importantly, Comes for Pressure 3.0 can export data directly into METTRAC. So you can use METTRAC as a sole source for all calibration reports for data collected by Compass, METCAL, Manual METCAL, and METTEMP. So you can use one application for all your reporting needs in the calibration lab. Thank you for your time. I'm Marcus Flack.